guys, it's my ice cream, that's my first out play. Sorry if the commentary sucks, that's my first uh, ever one, as you know. Um, I know that SpongeBob's anniversary was like four days ago, and uh, I wasn't able to do this then. So, here we go now. I got quite a bit of history with this game since this was a childhood favorite of mine. Still, this one of my favorite. 3D platformers of uh, all time. So, uh, yeah. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who lives in a fight of Marotta Sea? Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! Why does he have a dumb no base switch on his machine? Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? <laughs> yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. 
I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the rest of SpongeBob's house. So this level is basically the uh, tutorial. Sorry about that. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll Damn. keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Wow. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. Wow. Give me So yeah, SpongeBob House is basically the tutorial level of the game. I make a note from Mr. Krabs! And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Uh... Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. That is not fancy brown. Shines. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along in this quest. SpongeBob will need to collect as many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find in one of more dangerous places. R controls the camera. Move, to, move the R to the right to rotate SpongeBob's right. Move R. Move R stick to the left to rotate the camera to SpongeBob's left. Move the R stick to look it up to down. Move the R stick down to look up. Go ahead and try it. Press the X1 button and we're done. Didn't realize SpongeBob had such a luxurious hair. Or luscious hair. And our first golden spatula. This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are neat to one looking rays of the key bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect as many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. So they're like power stars, basically. The double jump for extra height. Plus, punch off can only double jump once per jump. Okay. Here's SpongeBob with Alright Man and Barnacle Boy. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets 
hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or something. So it's like, <laughs> like this. Lost his underwear. He must start that area over again. Spongebob may get back on underwear. He has lost been collecting additional pairs along the way. Spongebob starts out by wearing three pairs of underwear. But here there are special pairs of golden underwear that hidden in the bikini bottom, which if found, will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Spongebob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing the R2 button. I feel like a new sponge. Wearing three pairs of underwear sounds, uh, Uncomfortable. Where's Sandy? This is where I keep all my old comic books. And this is Spongebob's library. Press the square button and Spongebob will do a bubble spin. Spongebob may use the bubble spin to smash open tiki's. Push buttons like this or defeat most robots. Spongebob may also bubble spin in midair to hit things that are higher up. Other YouTubers say that these tiki's look like Mr. Crocker. After hearing that, I can't unsee it. Press the circle button in midair and Spongebob will do a bubble bounce attack. The bubble bounce attack can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below Spongebob. Or push buttons on the ground. Spongebob may only do the bubble bounce move uh, during a jump. Press the square button. When you triangle button went on the ground, as Spongebob can do a bubble bash attack. Bubble bash attack and smack tiki's. Or robots, or push buttons that are directly left Spongebob. When you see this icon, Spongebob can stand on it and bubble bash to break tiki's directly above him. See how well Spongebob is doing it. Re-level the game. Press the start button and pause. Pressing up and down will show you how well Spongebob is doing at each level of the game. Pressing left and right will give Spongebob a hint on each golden spatula that Spongebob knows about. Pressing the X button when the hint for a golden spatula is selected, Spongebob can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. Now to do this time challenge. That is one of Patrick's socks, those will be important later. I think we're pretty much done in here, we can leave now. This is a 100% run by the way. Nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. I don't think you've got a deal, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. 
SpongeBob. This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? Why are you smiling? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. So, so that's obviously not Clancy Brown, but I don't really mind this guy that much. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> it shines. It's going here. I don't remember seeing any pictures of SpongeBob and Patrick together in the SpongeBob's house. Now let's go into a Squidward's house. Stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. There's a scoutboard. There's a lot of pictures of himself. Stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. So let's get out of here. And uh, let's talk to Bubble Buddy. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Don't forget to... De Fifth 
interesting going special center this area. Time bombs patch is gonna be good. This is a long patch up here you can get. And up here is much Bob's underwear. So I'm gonna do that and then end the episode. Well, um, we're 21 minutes in, gone long enough, so in the next episode, we will be going to Jellyfish Fields. So, uh, see you on the next episode, uh, subscribe to my main channel even though there's nothing on it yet, and, uh, bye.